Welcome back to PokerNews.com. I'm here with Joe Chung. Now, Joe, you went pretty deep in the Millionaire Maker. Huge field. Couldn't really take it down. Do you like being in those huge fields? Lots of people, lots of recreational players. Kind of. Yes and no. <laughs> it's a lot of people to beat, but first place is always really big. So that's nice if you win, right. which you don't most of the time. No. no. And you had a lot of chips. Does your play change knowing you're against people who just, you know, maybe are having their first World Series of Poker cash? Uh, yeah, definitely. You just adjust accordingly to how they're playing. And a lot of them are playing too tight because they're deep in a huge event. So you bully them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Not face bully. Yeah. You know, put my poker face on and start bullying. And now you're in the 1500 PLO. You reg the first level, eight, nine handed PLO. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what your strategy is. A lot of people, early levels. Yeah, I'm regretting coming here on time. Um, that's about it. I, I wish I came a lot later. And why is that? Just it's sort of explain to people, you know, who maybe don't play a lot of these big fields with you know, nine handed, obviously not 10 handed in PLO, but there are, you know, Millionaire Maker was 10 handed at one point. Well, the main reason is 11 a.m. is really early for most poker players. So I woke up at like 10.30 and just rushed over. And I wish I just slept in a little longer. Were you out late last night? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I busted really early yesterday and got home. And, um, well, honestly, I just got high and ate a lot of food and watched movies. Yeah. You, know, you got to relax, though. It's a lot of long days at the Rio. Mom, I hope you're not watching this. <laughs> um, and then also you were tweeting about, you know, when people make really bad plays, they always cite you as inspiration. Can you tell me about like someone who came up to you and told you their bad play and sort of said you would do this? Oh yeah, definitely. It happens all the time with my friends where they're just like, they make a really bad play and like, well, Joe understands. But uh, no, this one hand happened to Millionaire Maker where uh, this guy raised called like, King Jack off for 15 big blinds and one. And everyone's like, wow, it's a, it's a pretty loose call. And he's like, he looks at me and he goes, well, I just kept thinking Joe wouldn't fold here. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why? Wait, do you know is him? There, do you know him? Uh, barely. I, I played him before. Why does everyone think I'm so bad? It's crazy. Well, you know, you're known for making risky moves at the World Series, but, you know, not. I mean, obviously, you've been cashing so much. You're, what are you in the GPI right now? Pretty high. I don't know. I should have done my research. Yeah. yeah. But you no, should've. you've been like yeah. cashing so much. You've been playing really well, obviously. So, and you have to, you know, you can't play eight, only aces. This is fucking poker. You got to get risky and make moves. This is true. And get high and uh, watch TV. <laughs> That's definitely a big part of uh, winning. Yes. Well, uh, good luck to you. Hope you go deep in this long PLO event. Thank you. All right. Stay tuned. PokerNews.com.